Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla and I am again back with a wonderful series with respect to new product development process. So this particular series will have 8 different videos. The first one is about the basic structure about new product development process. Second one will be specifically with respect to how to plan the new product development process. The third one will be with respect to product design process. The fourth one will be with respect to manufacturing process design process. The fifth one will be with respect to process and product validation process. The sixth one will be with respect to the feedback assessment and corrective action with respect to the entire product development process. The seventh one will be with respect to the change management process. And the last one, the eighth one will be with respect to what are the present challenges with respect to new product development process and what we can do with respect to that. So let's start with the first one with respect to overall structure of the new product development process. Well, somebody has rightly said that necessity is the mother of invention. So all the new developments that are happening for years and years, they all are happening because either there is some need which is created with respect to that or maybe somebody must have thought that let's create a need and see that what kind of response is coming. Something similar happens in automotive sector also wherein based on the customer expectation, based on the changing needs of the uh, people some new products are being developed and then it is being seen that whether they are meeting the expectation of the customer or not. As far as automotive sector is concerned as per IATA 16949 clause number 8.3 as well as APQP advanced product quality planning second edition there are certain guidelines which have been given that how we can develop a particular product and how we can make sure that the product meets the customer requirement. So I'll be talking about all the different stages of the new product development process. In this process, there are also some specific customer requirements also. There are some IATF subscribing OEMs who have their own requirements like Daimler, GM, Ford. They all have some specific requirements that what additional things apart from what is given in APQB manual as well as IATF 16949 standard that needs to be fulfilled at the time of new product development process. So, there are five different phases which are specified there. The first phase is about plan and define. Now this is the most crucial and the most important phase in this entire development process because this is a phase where we come to know about all the inputs from the customer, the voice of the customer that what is their expectation with respect to quality, cost, delivery, what are their expectation with respect to the kind of design they are looking for. What is their expectation with respect to the performance of the product which finally will be there when the product will be in used in the market. So a lot of inputs are there and based on those inputs the planning outputs include some targets with respect to timeline that in what particular time frame this particular project needs to be completed. Sometimes it is also called APQP timing plan also wherein on different phases what are the key milestones and what it needs to be met with respect to customer and organization requirement all those things are being identified. Then there are certain design goals which are being identified as a part of that. Then some other thing which can be a part of the output of the planning phase can be preliminary bill of material, preliminary process flow chart as well as some formation of a cross functional team uh, and this team will comprise of the people from different processes like new product development, production engineering, quality, production and maybe purchasing and maybe few other processes and their objective is to work together and to see that uh, how they can fulfill the expectation of customer in this particular phase. The second phase is with respect to product design verification. Whatever outputs that are coming from the planning phase they become the input in the product design phase. So some of the key output in the product design phase includes basic preliminary drawing, some technical specification with respect to product as well as material specifications, final bill of material which talks about what are the different components or sub-assemblies that will be there that will combine together to form a particular product. Then it will also include some design goals with respect to quality, cost and delivery. It will also be identified that 
uh, what are the different time frames when we'll do the design reviews and when design reviews will be done then what is the output that is going to come with respect to that then apart from that some other things include dfme design failure mode and effect analysis uh, that what are the possible risk uh, what are the possible causes for that and what can be done to avoid any design failures that is a part of dfme then it also includes a preliminary process flow chart also that how the process will flow it can also include prototype control plan in case there is a requirement from the customer to submit some prototype samples so in that case uh, prototype control plan will be required then with respect to that maybe some rapid uh, prototyping uh, some tools that may also be required in this particular process in phase 3 once the output of product design is freezed they all become input for process design so when the input of process design the key input includes the drawing specifications some goals with respect to designs and uh, prototype control plan as i said so once all those things are received then based on that in the manufacturing process design it is being decided that to manufacture the products what are the documents that are required so all those things are being prepared so that includes process flow chart process fmea then uh, control plan sometime it is also called pre launch control plan at this particular stage then uh, work instructions uh, process sheets uh, some other things also include that what are the diagnostic guidelines that are needed in case there is a problem in the product when it is being used by the customer so how they can identify certain things then maybe some targets or maybe some information with respect to maintainability and serviceability also those things also become a part of that in this particular phase uh, process capability plan and how to do it uh, that is also there uh, then uh, what are the different instruments which should be used as part of uh, ms study measurement system and analysis that are also some of the key outputs in this particular process in the fourth phase whatever outputs that have come with respect to product and process it's a time to validate that that whatever outputs that have come whether actually they are working whether they are serving the purpose to the customer or not so in this particular phase we do a trial run of the product uh, as per ppap manual the requirement is 300 parts so or it can be as per the customer requirement also so the intent is to run a production trial to see that whether the quality target whether the performance target with respect to product can be met or not then there is also a intent to see run a trade to see that whatever is the assumption about a certain volume that needs to be produced in a particular shift whether we can do that in particular stage or not that is also being verified so some of the key output of the product and process validation includes the final control plan initial process capability study measurement system analysis data that uh, how, what is the variation with respect to measurement system that is coming how much process is capable and it is going to give the same kind of results that is being expected out of that then certain output with respect to sample inspection report that whatever uh, product that we have made whether it is fulfilling to the customer requirement or not Uh, it also includes data with respect to the maintenance uh, maybe some targets with respect to uh, machine repair and uh, machine design also that are also a part of that so these are some of the key output with respect to machine uh, the product validation process uh, once the validation process is complete then we go to the next phase and the last and the fifth phase is with respect to feedback assessment and corrective action so even though uh, i'm saying it in a sequence but actually this particular phase is in throughout starting from the planning phase to the validation phase so here the intent is that at different stages whatever feedback that the organization is getting from the customer or maybe from the internal processes it needs to be analyzed it needs to be understood and some actions need to be taken so that overall whatever is the objective of the customer say for example uh, the key output of the validation phase is ppap product planning approval process so whether we have been able to achieve all the expectation with respect to ppap or not that is one of the thing that needs to be seen and in case there is any gap what needs to be done to 
plug that gap and once that gap is being plugged and the customer requirements are being taken care of so after this particular phase product can be handed over for the mass production uh, to the production team and then further they can take care how to deal with the customer and with respect to the expectation of the customer so broadly i talk about five different stages the first one was with respect to the planning phase second one was with respect to the product verification third one was about the process verification the fourth one was with respect to the process and product validation and the last one was with respect to the assessment feedback and the corrective action in case an organization follows all those things in a systematic manner so it will ensure that whatever targets that were set initially with respect to quality cost and delivery they will be met if those targets are being taken care then certainly the customer satisfaction will enhance the relationship between the organization and the customer that will also improve and when all these things will go good overall the employee morale and their satisfaction that will also increase and that will also enhance but in real scenario if you see with respect to new product development process there are some challenges which the industry faces so let me share some of those challenges also the first challenge is with respect to formation of cross functional team how many organizations actually make a cross functional team who works together to achieve the expectation of the customer the second point is that even if a cross functional team is being made how much competent that team is to understand the expectation of the customer and fulfill the requirements of the customer the third important point is that how often the output of any process or any stage becomes an input for the management review wherein top management can see that uh, what is the performance with respect to new product development process whether it is fulfilling the customer requirement or not or there is any delay with respect to the timing or the cost of production overall production is increasing so whatever costing that is being done initially that is not being met or not so these are some of the key possible challenges that is being generally seen in industry in the new product development process so this is the part 1 of this particular series the next video will be with respect to specifically with respect to the planning process in the new product development process in case you are enjoying these kind of videos so you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you will regularly get these updates in case you want to understand little bit more about this video so there is a link below in the blog you can click and you will get more information with respect to that thank you